Stop thinking you're too old. It is never too late, ever. I remember when I was 24 years old and I was in college, I thought I was the old guy. I remember sitting in class thinking, yep, I'm old, I'm 24. <laughs> Completely ridiculous, it really is. You know, looking back on my 24 year old self, I mean, what was I thinking? It's just a matter of perspective, it really is. When I was 19, I thought I was old. And I remember I was working at this steel factory. We would take these big 20 foot pieces of steel. We would load them up and people would come with semis and they would take the orders. It was a very, very hard job. And there was this guy there, I didn't know his name. And he asked me how old I was and I told him I'm 19. And he looked at me and he said, oh man, you have your whole life ahead of you. And he was 26, 27. It's a matter of perspective and you have your whole life ahead of you. So let me just say that because you do, right? If you're alive right now, you still have time. It is never too late to do what you wanna do. Whether it be study mathematics, maybe you want to learn a new skill so you can get a new job and have a better life. Maybe you want to create something new. Whatever it is you're trying to do with your life, whatever goals you have, it is not too late. I receive emails every day and sometimes they come from people who are much, much older than I am. There are people that are in their 60s, 70s, even 80s who watch this channel and work on mathematics. And the emails are usually like, oh, my name is so-and-so, I'm 72 and I've started reading these books, do you have any advice, you know, et cetera. And I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome that people are going back and it's not so much about math, it's about the fact that they're doing something they've always wanted to do, which in this case it's math because this is a math channel. But you're never too old, ever, right? You always have time, always, always, always. I remember teaching a class, and this was a fun one, and I, I walked in the class and I, I said, okay, does anyone here, has anyone here not seen math in a long time? You know, has it been like a long time? And a couple people raised their hand, yeah, it's been about a year, two years. And, and there was this guy in the front of the class, his name was Alfred, just like the butler from, from Batman. And he was older, he was older, he was like 60 something. And you can tell he looked older, he had, you know, full gray hair. And he raised his hand and I said, how long has it been since, since you've taken a math class? He says, 30 years. And I was like, wow, 30 years. This guy, Alfred, what a legend. The class was, a, uh, was like a concepts of calculus class, which is kind of like a business calculus class. It's basically calculus, but you don't need trig. And you might say, oh, that sounds easy. It is an easy class. It's a very easy class to teach. And it was one of my favorite classes to teach because it was so fun and easy spend an entire day on the product rule, an entire day on the quotient rule. But the students, uh, no, 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 they, they were not as good at math, right? Because the prereqs were lower, so you had to go really slow, you had to explain everything very carefully. But Alfred, you know, he didn't care. He was, you know, 65, 68, however old he was, and he was there trying to learn calculus, you know? And he took the class for free, after a certain age, a lot of these community college classes are free. So he was able to take it for free, but he got his degree, I believe in construction, and I don't know what he's doing today, but it is never too late. It, it never is too late. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You can go on the internet and you can read Reddit and you can find all these posts like, oh, I'm 42, is it too late to do this? And some people will say it is too late. It's like, oh yeah, you know, once you're past 40, you can't do anything. Or once you're past 50, it's too late. 
No, 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 no. These are all misconceptions. You're alive. There's time. It's never too late. Stop thinking you're too old. Okay, stop thinking you're too old. There are things related to age which do affect people. And I think that they are overblown in today's societies. For example, let's talk about intellect. Here's one that's very important. Just to give you an example, research mathematicians. I knew a research mathematician, I met him. He was very old, a very old research mathematician. He went to Harvard. He was a complex uh, analysis guy. So his research was in complex analysis. He had a PhD from Harvard. And I got to talk to him briefly one day in his office. And he told me that when, when he was younger, he could spend like, I think it was something like, something like eight hours, like all day, all day in a room with books, just pouring over the books, struggling to find ideas and just, you know, trying to work on his research, just surrounded by books all day, you know, has his coffee there, has his lunch there, just all day, mathematics, all day. And he could do that for about eight hours. But in his old age, and I think he was, I don't remember how old he was, I think he might have been like 68 or 72, around there. He said he could only work for three to four hours before losing his concentration or just like fading out, not being able to continue. And I was thinking three to four hours, <laughs> So that's a lot more than most people study in one session, right? There's all kinds of study techniques where you study for like an hour or take a break, you know. There's all kinds of techniques. But this guy, this old school Harvard PhD mathematician in his late 60s, early 70s, he can still do it, you know, three to four hours straight, hardcore, pure desire, right? Brilliant, so hardcore. So it's never too late. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing to me. Another one you hear about with, uh, with age is physical stuff. So physical stuff you know, does, does get harder. When you, when you get older, it's harder to build muscle, you know, it's, you know, things start to, you know, old people start to, you know, you start to wear down. But there's people out there who do all kinds of things, right? There's always examples of greatness despite age. So don't let don't let age hold you back. Stop thinking you're too old because you're not, right? Because you're not, because you're not. Another one that gets people is they think, oh, you know, this is going to take me six years, so I'm not going to do it because, yeah, it's a long time. You're going to get older, right? If, 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 you're, if you're 24 years old right now, in six years, you're going to be 30, right? If all goes well and your health is good, in six years, you're going to be 30. Do you want to be 30 years old and have your college degree, have that job, have whatever it is that you want out of life? Or do you want to be 30 years old and not have those things? Think about that, right? 30 is going to come no matter what. Or if you're 30, you're going to be 40 years old no matter what. Do you want to be 40 and do you want to have those things that you want? Do you want to have that degree, that job, whatever it is you want? Or do you want to not have those things? The choice is clear, right? Work towards your goals and stop thinking you're too old. Stop thinking you're too old. It's, it's, it's never too late to start. And people, again, will have opinions about, you know, what you should and shouldn't do, or maybe this is not a good idea. But at the end of the day, right, it's, it's your life, right? You make your decisions and you decide what you want to do and how you want to live it. And I think that the best way to live your life is the way that you want to live it. That's the best way because it's your life. It belongs to you, right? It belongs to you. Anyways, random video. I just wanted to talk about it because, you know, I, I do get emails all the time and I answered a few this morning. I replied and, and people are often concerned about they think it's too late. They think that, you know, after a certain age, it's just too late. You know, my classmates are ahead of me. Ah, that's one that, that you hear all the time. And when I was in college and I was 24, I actually felt that way. I felt like I was behind my classmates. I remember there was this kid. He must have been like, I think he was like, must have been like 16 years old. I think he was 16 and he was in high school. 
and he sat next to me in my college algebra class, and he had a calculator like this one, one of the TI calculators, um, but it was black. I remember it was a black calculator, and I had never seen one, and he was using it, and he knew how to use it, and he was Mr. Cool, and he got an A in the class, and I got a B, and I kept thinking, wow, this kid's so good. He's so ahead of me, and I felt behind. I did, I felt behind, but I used that as a source of inspiration, and I worked extra hard. I felt like it was my last chance because I thought I was too old. So that's a situation, I guess, where thinking you're too old can lead to some motivation and some strength, which I think there's better ways to get motivation and strength. But it worked for me. I thought that that was my last chance. This was it. I had to get A's. I had, this is my life. I could not mess this up. I had to go to college and do well, and I did. Right, I did. You do whatever it takes, right? You do whatever it takes. Anyways, kind of a random video. Subscribe if you want to. Check out my other channel, The Internet Sorcerer. Also, I have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, because I've lowered the prices. Also, uh, it helps me greatly. I've got courses on everything. Uh, not everything, but a lot of stuff, right? College algebra, calculus, trig, uh, calc 1, 2, 3, differential equations, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, etc. It's never too late. Stop thinking you're too old, okay? It really isn't. It doesn't matter how old you are, right? It does not matter. And I, I, again, it's, it's exacerbated. I hope I said that correctly. It's exacerbated by the fact that, and especially if you're in college and everyone else is younger, you know, you're like the older person in class. And then, and you kind of become known that way too. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've taken college classes or high school classes, but if you're in college, you know this, there's always a couple students who are older. And those students tend to be very popular, by the way. I remember when I was in college, I remember the older students, you know? I, I remember them because you kind of look up to them. You know, you're in college and I thought I was older at 24, but there's a guy who's 35, 40, 50. It's like, whoa. You know, it's, it's a little bit different, so it's kind of fun. Anyways, good luck to you.